Hello everyone and welcome. Here I am shooting outside because, well, just because I'm a nerd with little to no social, with the, no, no uh, you know, life outside of movies or books or whatever, that's no excuse not to, you know, get out and get some sun and whatever. <clears throat> anyway, today I'm going to be talking about Greg Bear's Mars dog, I mean, uh, war dogs, sorry, my bad. And, um, story is um, <clears throat> several years prior uh, we made first contact with an alien race who we never bothered we were never able to figure out the na their actual names but we just were calling them gurus anyway um, <clears throat> apparently like uh, the gurus are being hunted down with by this other race that are just called the antagonists you know kind of an odd uh, name I mean we're just calling them antagonists we might as well just be calling them bad guys or whatever but on the other hand I guess um, <clears throat> considering how little that they actually tell us about these these uh, two races kind of makes sense, sense and um, um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah and um, and like uh, apparently like they're being chased around and they're um, and they kind of they they were like would you kindly go to war for us and you know protect us and um, you know they were providing us with all sorts of cool technology so we decided sure okay <clears throat> and um, and uh, yeah that's how it went down um they're actually built it's actually how it seems to go down is um, you know um, <clears throat> there are uh, is that they're trying to like build a foothold on Mars, you know, and we're trying to prevent them from doing that. But at the same time, there are also Martian colonists that have been called muskies, and um, you know, they're trying to do their own um, thing, and uh, and uh, you know, like they have their own uh, you know history with there with uh, apparently like how it went down was like. We had tried to like colonize Mars, and it was hard. But like some people like did it successfully. Then a bunch of other a holes decided to come in, and uh, you know like various white supremacists, and you know people like this, and uh, various like um, Andrew Ryan types, and uh, you know people that were trying. They just decided, and they you know make their own do their own thing over there, the whole place turned into a gigantic spaghetti western until like, um, <clears throat> eventually like, Earth had to like, cut the whole thing quiet because nobody was paying their, ta everyone was like, using Mars as a place to like, avoid paying taxes and just avoid p paying rent and stuff, so like, basically shut the whole thing down and, uh, and then eventually of course the Antags showed up and made things even worse and, um, I'm probably giving like way too much stuff away because yeah but <clears throat> um, point is like this is a really entertaining book you know there's uh, all sorts of uh, uh, you know action you know I've already pretty much told you most of the stuff about the world that it takes place in and uh, yeah <clears throat> however um, but some stuff that kind of bugs me is like uh, for starters, like, they have, uh, this thing where, like, they constantly try and make, like, references to, like, more known science fiction books, like, um, <clears throat> like, uh, like, Dune or whatever, like, they compare their skin tights, which are the spacesuits they fight into the still suits from Dune, there's like, oh, are they work like this, this, you know, kind of like this, the still suits from Dune, right? Or, um, <clears throat> or their attempt at trying to sound cool by referring to Mars as the Red. <clears throat> you know, this kind of felt a little tacky, and uh, even though I do kind of like it, it does kind of bug me about how, like, we we know little to nothing about the actual gurus. Like, they don't even know what they look like. But apparently, like, um, we're so in love that, with the gurus' technology that we're actually willing to, like, uh, <clears throat> You know, uh, clean up our language, and uh, like, uh, there's one thing like the gurus have like so much like influence that like they say like you're not allowed to drop the f bomb, and like uh, 
for a while, everyone was like, like fuck, 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 and you know, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, but um, and apparently, like, then they like shut off their, you know, they stopped selling stuff, and they were like, oh crap, you know, um, <clears throat> and um, and then like we cleaned up our language, replaced fuck with fidge, so like, fidge, fidgety, fidge, 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 because it, that is like a. Apparently, like, the, um, <clears throat> they have, like, this thing about, like, thinking about sex is, like, really sacred, like, cow or whatever there. So, like, you're using it as, like, a derogatory is, like, really offensive to them, and, um, <clears throat> yeah. And one thing that's, that thing is kind of weird is, like, is, like, how little we know about their, about them. I mean, uh, for all, um, I could, for all you, for all we knew, um, <clears throat> from reading this, like, the, the, uh, gurus, as they're called, could be, like, intergalactic terrorists or whatever, and, like, the, these, the antics could be, like, space cops, or, <clears throat> or, uh, military, like, chasing them down or something, you know, um, <clears throat> if they're, if, and, uh, yeah, but, and again, but then again, that is, uh, actually, I'd probably say a good thing, because, <clears throat> You know, it kind of feels like it uh, creates uh, more um, wonder about, like, what's going on and stuff. And, uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway, it's a um, really interesting book. You know, I can tell that, you know, probably not a lot. Of, and, 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 um, and uh, yeah. Uh, I hope there's a sequel because it really is an interesting uh <clears throat> you know, thing, you know, lots of action, you know, uh, but, uh, yeah, and, um, anyway, um, my, my, uh, final rating for this is a five out of five, definite recommendation, check it out, fantastic, yeah, um, next time we're going to be talking about Star Trek, the next generation, with Star Trek The Resistance. Um, until then, see you later. Um, you know, <clears throat> support your local bookstores and libraries with your patronage and money, and have a nice day.